Keaton guys, his progress, and his Marshall Henderson's coming off the baseline screen. He just grabbed it. Dejon Parker will check in for Bright. And Henderson, an 86% foul shooter, couldn't get that to go down. His first miss tonight. Missed them both. Can collapse the zone a little bit as well as kicking it in. The kick out to Marshall Henderson. He does what he does best, and that is bury the three. Three-point game. Ole Miss basketball. Shoot it, go. 30-second timeout. Ole Miss feeling it. Henderson off the offensive rebound, buries the three. But Well, here's that last play. Off the missed free throw, the Rebels. And Murphy Holloway keeps it alive. And Henderson buries the three. And that's, and that's Odom needs to box out. And there's our guy right there. That's what makes him good. He plays with such energy and emotion. And he's yelling behind the baskets to some of the fans. But uh, he's too good, a, too good a player to get into talking a little too much. Open, he's been all night. Can't get it to go. But then picks up the loose ball. And thought he was, he was fouled. But he up was, and down. Dave, he was fouled. He was fouled. And in the act of shooting, they missed that one. Boy, Henderson was wide open in the corner, would have tied it up with 4.04 to go. Marshall Henderson, coach, we know he can shoot, we know he can score, he's got a lot of emotion in the game. What do you make of Marshall? Superb player, but he has to make sure he's not emotionally intoxicated during the game. Sometimes he's talking to the fans, as he is right there, that's where he's looking, or he's talking. He's too good a player, Dave to sort of behave like that on the floor. Like, the most important thing you have is your name, your reputation. He don't want to taint that because he's such a good player with some of his antics on the floor. Definitely an emotional player. Leaves it all on the floor. That's, That's just... what makes him good, the energy and emotion. But make sure it's directed in the proper channel. Well, this is my third game in a row of, of Ole Miss, <laughs> and so I've seen a lot of Marshall Henderson. And... He does like to chirp. He, he not only talks to himself on the floor, he talks to the officials, he talks to the fans, he talks to his opponents. I mean, he's always talking to somebody. But Ole Miss looked like they were headed nowhere with about eight minutes to play in the contest. And now they lead it by one. So Andy Kennedy's club with a minute 40 here. You got. Almost a full shot clock session of the game. Each team with one timeout left. Vanderbilt will hold it. Maybe taking it with six or five, Dave. In case you miss, you get a second shot opportunity. Johnson kicks it to the wing. On the way. Got it! Kevin Bright with 3.2 seconds. Henderson. Clearly good, clearly good. But Kevin Stallings was almost irate going after the officials a little bit. He's saying when the ball went in the basket, he was calling and asking for timeout. Marshall Henderson, welcome to the Southeastern Conference, my friend. Do a jump stop so that if you don't have anything, you're still under control. Henderson into the lane. And Andy's telling him right now, just play, just play. <laughs> Wonderful take. <laughs> you know, I, I, I think I think somebody, uh, maybe Gerald Boudreau, who's coordinator of officials, uh, somebody has gotten in Andy Kennedy's ear and, and said, listen, tell your guy. He just needs to take that out of his game. 
Johnson misses on that three, loose ball. Henderson got a hand on it, trying to save it. Does so, what a play! And Summers will head to the free throw line, but that play belongs to that man, Marshall Henderson. Great effort. I like it, get in the huddle with your teammates. Wonderful hustle, wonderful hustle. Both teams, a couple of white shirts on the floor. Henderson makes a hustle play after the ball. Those are the difference in close games. Once again, the story, Marshall Henderson, the junior, first go around the SEC basketball team, shattered by the performance on Saturday. 26 turnovers in that game. They shot 25%, and you knew this was a fragile group coming in anyway. 0-2 in the league, 6-8 and overall. And Andy Kennedy getting all 9 in the paint. Vanderbilt only 16 points in the paint. They shoot 39 threes, a season high. The prior high was 30 against Kentucky. Summers 